doing a quick power inventory of all of my various switches, starting with my HP uh, something something whatever. Um, that. 2910 AL or something, press something like that. It's got 210 gigs. And it pulls 55 watts. Up next, we have my HP Aruba 2500 48 port POE uh, for 10 gig slots. I have no idea where I found such a long power cord, but, and it's chug -a lugging along at 67 watts closer to 68 and that's not with any poe devices plugged in that's just doing base level nothing just just letting the packets go through and then we've got my crs 310 8g 2s in rgb with two 10 gig ports this one clocks in around 20 to 21 watts and then finally, the CRS 305 1G 4S 1N. Uh, not yet RGB, but soon. And uh, running 6 watts, but if I plug in a couple more modules, it does increase power to around 10 watts. But this is by far the most power efficient of the lot. And last but certainly not least is the Lenovo M720S, which this is currently configured with two 10 gig uh, interfaces on a single card. Uh, plus inside it's got um, a ninth generation Intel, I believe it's an i3. I don't think it's all that fast. Um, and it is pulling, well, at boot time it pulls uh, a lot more. And then once it settles down, it's in the low 20s range sometimes then if we crunch the numbers we look at what the features are and how much we're paying for them so for example the Aruba 2910 AL with two 10 gigabyte ports and uh, 48 1 gig ports uh, pulling 55 watts, my cost is 0.36 kilowatt hours, and assuming I'm running it all the time, my cost per year is $173. And do the same, the Aruba 2500 48 PoE, that thing costs $214 to run for a full year. I've actually not been running it all the time, but let's just assume that it has been on all the time. Uh, the Microtik, uh, that one's a lot more cost effective. Uh, the cost per year on that one is only $66. And then uh, the the leanest one, uh, the Microtik 4 port 10 gig uh, switch, that one's only $31. And then the, the PC server is uh, $78 per year. So, um, you know, that's the cost. You know, the, the Microtiks are very cost effective in for, in terms of uh, power usage. Now, if we just back up a little bit, how much have I spent on these devices in total to date? These two right here, I've spent way too much money on power. Uh, I got this one for free and then I put a $28 card on it, but somehow it cost me $479. And then the Aruba, the S2500, that one's cost me $775, 73. The Microtik so far in power, uh, I've only had it for a year, but it only has cost me 268 and most of that cost was actually buying it because it's only $66 a year. Same for the Microtik. That one cost about $200. And at this point, it's new, so I've just barely cracked into it. And the same for the, the PC. Most of the cost was in the um, purchase of it. However, uh, it is $80 a year to run that machine. So um, these two, they, they really need to be replaced with a $200 device, um, you know, because that's the cost of ownership for a year. Ah! Uh, if you like this kind of nerdy analysis, um, let me know and I'll do more. I'll find something else to put on a spreadsheet. Bye.